4 in New York, it's half past 9 on Barton Broad. Welcome to another edition of the River Blogs with Broad Ambition. It's time to start a whole new episode, a whole new adventure. Um, we're just coming off of Barton Broad at the present time and uh, just going to run you through what's happened so far, what you've missed. So, came up with my dad this time, first time he's been on Broad Ambition and the first time he's been on the Broads for a rather long time. Can't remember exactly when the last time was exactly, but he's here now. He's getting ready and um, we're just, uh, as I say, coming off of Barton Broad onto the river ramp so our next place of interest will be Hursted. So we came up pretty late last night on a Friday evening in the car and we left the wet shed at around about, I suppose, quarter past, twenty past eleven at night. And we did a night nav with a beautiful, almost full moon. Uh, clear skies, very little mist on the rivers. Um, and when they talk about, you know, in literature and stuff, you know, the silver river lit by the moonlight, it really was. Went a bit wrong. I thought the left-hand turn um, where the river divides to go off to Barton and Hurstead or Wayford if you turn right came a bit too early and it wasn't there at all. It was the cut that takes you down to um, Sutton Broad. And I did wonder as we turned left why it was so narrow. I thought, since when did the main river get this narrow? And then I realised the error, but not a problem. Came to Barton Broad, there was a few boats already on the mudway and uh, we just went slightly outside of channel and put the mud weight down and it was a really lovely time just to sort of sit in the aft well deck and, and look at the, the moon on the water uh, a slight little bit of mist rolling in and um, basically went to bed uh, I got up quite early this morning cleaned down the decks and uh, made her look ship shape and nice fenders up doing a first time on BA that I've actually had to kind of solo do everything because my dad's got um, quite a bad knee at the moment he can't just sort of leap off the boat with the ropes and stuff so um, normally obviously we like to have our ropes cheesed or coiled um, at the bow and the stern of the boat but that won't be possible I'm gonna have them down here um, so I can easily get to them out of here when I'm more up so that'll be an interesting uh, first time for me to do that but other than that it's a glorious morning we've had some really rotten weather lately it was the uh, autumn equinox the other day on the 23rd where it was as long dark as it was light and now because it's going to be from this period on more dark than it is light when you really get your autumn blues especially in november i hate november what's the point of november like october it still can be quite nice not too bad, the clocks haven't gone back. But November, the clocks have gone back. It's usually misty and damp and dark. And you haven't even got anything to look forward to apart from Guy Fawkes Night, which really is becoming, uh, certainly where I live, just an excuse to let fireworks off at sort of three o'clock in the morning. But um, at least in December, you've got Christmas to look forward to and the new year and everything else. But November's like the new month. So as you can see, we're just coming up to um, Ersted Stave. Lots and lots of boats were heading back across Barton Broad towards Richardson's. Obviously it's a Saturday, so they're all heading back to get their boats back to the base for 9 a.m. We're heading off towards Wroxham and i um, going to do some shopping in Roy's. And then after Wroxham, rough loose-ish plan would be to go to Omat Water so that tomorrow we can head off to Potter High and do some shopping in Lathans and then take a slow cruise back up to Salem and then I'm afraid that will be that. Quite a few events going on over this weekend. Um, there's a chap that uh, has organised a little bit of a meet on South House Broad um, with invitees coming from anywhere. Facebook groups, Northern Broads forums, there is, of course, the nbn.net autumn meet taking place over this weekend, but that's down in Beckles. But I'm sure that I'll see a few people on the rivers that we know. You know, when I first uh, became 
part of the syndicate that owns Broad Ambition. I remember saying, even on the on the review video and walkthrough and everything else, how it hadn't really sunk in and stuff. But um, it just feels so different and exciting and cool to be able to come on the boat like now this 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 weekend was only decided that we were going to come on Wednesday and um, here we are on the water and it's just about I suppose you might say another couple of weeks when the leaves are really going to turn and start to to fall but it's already just got that that sense that summer's gone now and we're entering a new phase and it's fresh and it's not just the air's fresh it's just like the wildlife I've seen the way they're behaving everything's sort of almost just a bit more slow um, it's, it's, it's almost as if in the summer everything was a plenty and it was warm and long days and everybody was enjoying themselves and you know the ducks and swans were getting plenty of free food from the passing boats and stuff and slowly now the traffic's less there's less boats about you know the winter is approaching you could say and it's just got that feeling of change about it and because in future weeks the trees will become bare the reeds will go from their lush green to a kind of a much yellowier harder straw as that sort of season's growth dies off and it was interesting watching how much it changed at the beginning of this season when I was on um, Belmore from Barnes Brinkcraft and then just a few weeks later I had Princess and a mooring that was very visible and easy to, to get to suddenly was all grown up with grass and reeds and everything which just shot up the minute that the temperature had risen and more sunlight so it's really interesting to see on the broads how things can change I think if you don't own a boat and you are hiring a boat it might be worth thinking about especially you know with budgets and so on instead of having like a week in the season when you're going to have to pay more money for the boat moorings are going to be tight you know lots of people are out having to moor up early and stuff is have a couple of short break four night trips in the year you know one early in the season sort of springtime and the next sort of this sort of time September end of October start of when it's much quieter cheaper moorings are more plentiful and yet you can still have beautiful sunny mild days like today now of course knowing the British weather you might go oh, that's a good point I think I might book myself a, a break and then you come up here and it's pouring with rain and it's freezing cold and your wife's looking at you saying why did we do this but it might just be like this and then there'll be this smile of yes this is why we did this it's absolutely beautiful so um there's a river launch ahead of us, just pondering down the river. And um, other than that, I've seen a couple of private boats pass, but it would appear that the, the great rush of boats was all just take-backs to Richardson's, um, and I'm sure other yards are like, down in Roxham, down in Horning, Potter Hyam, everybody's heading in. And then, of course, this afternoon, there'll be the new batch of takeovers to deal with first timers you name it but um, no it is special when you've got your own boat and you can actually do things like night navigate um, because it doesn't come with any instructions it's not like you have to go and do a course and go this is how you're going to do it it does help if there's a full moon and it does help if you know the river um, oh there's a left turn coming up here even if you get it a bit wrong and turn left too early and head towards San Joel but hey
So we are just coming to the end of the river ramp. We'll be turning to our right hand side to head off towards Roxham, Horning, Ramworth Dam, etc. on the River Bewer. And a few more boats are coming around now. A couple of day boats, but mainly privateers. But uh, it's just an absolutely gorgeous day, as I'm sure you can tell by just watching with the sunshine on the camera. Well, quarter to 11 at the present time, and uh, we're not too far from Ramworth Dam. We just come down the River Ant. And I was going to say about going off down towards Ramworth um, Stave and seeing if we could get in there and having um, a late breakfast or lunch as it's almost going to be because it's going to be a bit tricky um, otherwise for us to both sit down and enjoy it sort of thing. So uh, things have got a bit more busy on the River Bure as we've come along. Um, Alright, how are you doing? So another fan enters the vlog. So as I was saying, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, whether we're going to go off down um, to Ramworth Stave, uh, Sternmore there, cook recce, slash brunch, slash lunch, and then head into Roxham, um, or just carry on into Roxham. But I suppose there's always the saying, it's as broad as it's long. Do you stop in Roxham for a bit longer, or do you stop at Ramworth? So, I think I've made my decision as ever. Let's go to Ramworth. Looks like a good time to get a mooring there, rather than afterwards, after lunchtime, you're gonna have the new takeovers coming. So just a brief update for you. We're at Ramworth Island Moorings, where we came, as I said, and we stopped off and had breakfast or brunch. Time now is 20 minutes past 12. The roof, as you can see, has been taken down. That's how lovely the weather is today. It's absolutely beautiful. Still, not much wind, and um, just really warm. A bit like a sort of late August day rather than uh, end of September. And here's my dad, Chris. And how are you enjoying it? Very much. I'm very surprised the weather's so good for this time of the year. So, we're uh, going to be heading off now from Ramworth towards Roxham. So it's going to be down there, turn left, and sorry for the wind on the, the microphones. But um, I'm having to do more stuff than otherwise usually, as you know, with Sheila and stuff. She's the bell girl with the, the fenders, the lines, and everything else. But um, we're, we're getting by okay. So uh, as ever, more as it happens, I'll update you when we're on the main river. So apologies for the uh, wind noise on the microphones as ever, but we're just, as you can see, approaching Horning. A bit ominous is the uh, smoke in front of us that I don't know if you can see. Um, it looks quite thick and quite a lot of it to be just like a bonfire, but anyway. Um, so the plan is that my dad wants to go to the gift shop in Horning. So I'm going to drop him off, probably at the stay. You've come alongside another boat and I'll give him a spare PMR radio and then you can radio to me for collection. Um, so that's what we're doing and um, we'll see how we do. So it's just about 10 past one. I've just dropped my dad off at Horny and um, I'll tell you about a couple of things in a second. But first of all, um, he wanted to do some shopping in Horny so uh, there wasn't any space at the stage. Surprise, surprise. So I said the best option is I'll give you a PMR radio I'll drop you off, you go and do your shopping, and then radio for me to come back. So I'm just basically pootling along the river at the moment, just, you know, waiting for his radio call, hoping he knows how to use the radio. But for some of you, you might be thinking, it's a bit of an odd captain's book this, you know, you haven't seen much of your dad, and you're not doing too much filming and stuff. For those of you that have never met my dad, just cast your mind back uh, to the Hold on, that could be it. Yeah. Dad available for pickup over. Dad available for pickup. Yeah, this is uh, Rob, Broad Ambition, coming back for you now. I've also got a canoe in the middle of the river to avoid, so just bear with me here. It'd be nice if you acknowledged, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, did you get that, Dad? Sorry, yes, uh, I did. Uh, broad ambition, over and out. You don't need to say over and out, because over is uh, waiting for you to acknowledge, and out means in. So you're basically saying, acknowledge me, but don't bother, because I'm not listening. Anyway, let's talk about my dad. So yes, if you go back through the blogs to uh, Song of Freedom, you'll notice that um, I had actually what turned out to be tonsillitis, um, but I just thought it was bad sore throat and a cold or something. But basically, at the end of the day, it was a fraught time, and um, he's a lovely, charming man, he really is. I'm not having a real moan at him or anything, but he is a very stubborn man and a pain to deal with. Now, bless him. He's got cancer, he's got some problems with his joints, so I know he can't help out with the ropes and do any of the, the, that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, he is capable and does do rather a lot of stuff at home, for example. Does his own breakfasts, does the washing up. Funny how that all just stops the minute he gets on board the boat. And then actually says to me as I'm doing the washing up after I've done breakfast and everything else, Oh Rob, do you mind getting the marmalade for me and bring the toaster up? Yes, okay. Yes. Board Ambitions, do you have an ETA? Hi up. About five minutes. Yes, see you soon. There we are, Lungs. Got a bit more speed on for the buy. Anyway, so basically, yeah, so he's that kind of thing. So it's a bit interesting when I'm with him and I'll say something like, okay, we're going to come here into Horning, we're going to more on the left hand side. And then he says, oh, I don't know if we should do this. And I said, don't worry about it. Just ask the woman in the boat if it's OK for us to come alongside to drop you off. No, I don't think I want to do this. I said, just I'll ask the woman. So because, you know, hey, do you mind if we just come alongside so I can drop my dad off? Oh, of course you can. Lovely boat you got there. Thank you. Turn around, dropped you off. So, you know, it's that kind of thing. Also, a lot of people come on the Norfolk Brawls to enjoy the peace, the tranquility. My dad comes for the shopping. So now he's obviously got his stuff from the gift shop in the deli at Horning. Our next destination is going to be Rise of Roxham. But he also wanted to go to Potter Hyam. And he doesn't seem to understand that you can't go all the way to Rise, get your shopping in Rise, more up, then all the way back to Roxham in the same day. And it's not just about it being light, it's about other things as well, like are the boats taking moorings? And I said, but you want to go out this evening. There's nowhere in, in um, Porter Hyam. You're not going to be able to walk all the way to the Fall Gate. If we go to Womack Water, I don't think you're going to be able to walk to the King's Arms. So I said, it'd be better if we carry on through Roxham Bridge and to Coltishaw. We can moor up there. There's probably going to be a mooring, but you know, we'll, we'll see as we go. And then we can just walk to the pub there. Oh, that's a long way. And I do want to go to Latham's. He's itching to go to Latham's, ladies and gentlemen. He just, oh, bargains. God, all the things you don't need that he's going to buy and get four of and keep. Charlie Griffin, a, another owner of Broad Ambition and very good tiler, is doing a lot of uh, renovation work along with other tradesmen, a uh, property my dad owns. And um, he knows how hard dealing with my dad is. <laughs> So um, if this captain's vlog's a bit different and a bit, you see me acting a bit tense or, you know, stuff, or not saying too much, or not being much footage, now you know why. So I'm being the good son, keeping my mouth shut when it needs to be shut, and um, just enjoying the weather and being on the boat, but missing sort of Sheila and my bow lady and being able to say to Sheila, go on, kick the fenders down, we're coming up to more on the left hand side in a moment, and she'll go, okay, instead of, Dad, do you think you could kick those fenders down? Yeah, I think I can do that. Do you want to go and do it then? Yeah, I will in a minute. Well, we've got to do it before we get to the mooring though. Yeah, I know. Do you want to do, you want to do those fenders? Because we're really close to getting to the mooring, Dad. Yeah, I will. Oh, I didn't know it was going to be as hard to get up this step. Do you want me to do the... No, I've said I'm going to do the fenders. I'll do the fenders. OK, I'll just put the boat into reverse and wait for you to do the fenders. Talking of fenders, I've got to do my own fenders and pick him up. More as it happens. Right, this is going to be a little bit tricky because when I put the boat into um, neutral, um, the camera will suffer from being quite shaky, so just to warn you. But we'll try and capture the moment. 